My name is Matt Reedy. I'm 55 years old. I live in Richmond, Virginia. I'm married. I have four kids ranging in ages from 13 to 26. And uh, I was diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma in 2013. So in January 2014, I was uh, scheduled for surgery. I had a resection, had clear margins, best possible outcome. And at that time, Mayo Clinic took a tissue sample of my cancer and sent it off for molecular testing, next generation sequencing, um, biomarker analysis. I got the report back a month or two later, and there wasn't uh, there wasn't a whole lot of actionable information in it, and it wasn't all that important to me because at the time I was was cancer free. Um, at my one year checkup, my cancer had returned. I had a new mass in my abdomen. I started chemotherapy with the standard regimen of Gemsys, and that helped for a little bit, um, but but uh, not for long. I had a second resection attempted, uh, which failed, and then I went on to do radiation therapy with oral chemo, and that also failed. And so I came back home to Richmond, Virginia, and my oncologist here in Virginia had just read an article in the New England Journal of Medicine about a, a new trial at Johns Hopkins uh, related to immunotherapy and Keytruda. And he said that, that he thought that this might be an option for me. Um, based on the genetic report that I had shared with him from Foundation One. Um, I had a, a mutation on that report called MLH1, and on the report itself, MLH1 had no, no known uh, treatments, no, nothing, nothing significant about it. In fact, it was the last, the last item on my report. Turns out that that particular mutation is a key indicator of success with checkpoint inhibitor immunotherapy like Keytruda. And so uh, Keytruda had just been FDA approved for melanoma and that, <clears throat> that allowed my doctor to write a prescription for it for me. And within two months, my, uh, my cancer had disappeared. So I finished my Keytruda in March of 2016, um, and I've been cancer free ever since. I can also say that I've been involved with the Cholangio Carcinoma Foundation since diagnosis, and they've been an unbelievable support group. Um, the people I've met, the patients, the caregivers, the researchers, the doctors, um, biomarker testing today is essential for glangiocarcinoma patients. When I was diagnosed, biomarker testing was not routine. Um, it's becoming more routine, and it's something that, that people need to really advocate for and insist uh, that it be done. Um, I know of a couple other people with glangiocarcinoma who, who have had the same treatment and have had similar biomarkers, um, and like me, they've had complete response durable response. Um, it's not it's not typical for glangiocarcinoma, unfortunately, but uh, but it's been a lifesaver for me.